Hello everyone, this is TSET ABCD and welcome to another Katan video here on my channel. First and foremost, uh, Happy New Year. I know this is the first day of the new year. So hopefully uh, each and every one of you has a very, very prosperous year and hopefully you fulfill all the goals that you want to achieve. So anyway, now let's take a look at the board. So I am in the second position here. Yeah, 659 is a pretty strong production spot. But if I go for 659, most likely I will not be able to get any ore when it comes back to me or at least not any strong ore spot. Also 834 will be picked up, I think 6311 will be picked up. So I don't get any strong uh, road building setup as well. Based on that, I think going for 693 is better option here. Graham being a pretty strong wheat along with the best ore and some wood on this board. Especially on this low wood board, I think I like 693 here. The only other decent option that I am considering is 834. But I think 693 is just good. Especially I will have access to the 3 to 1 port. Most likely it will be uncontested. Yeah, and for black, I think 659 is pretty strong. Especially because black will have the option of going for either uh, 834 or the other 834 and so black has the flexibility to either go for a road builder setup or a, or a over wheat sheep setup Green also has a pretty difficult choice. I think green surely goes for 834. And uh, yeah, maybe something like 6, 11, 12, 834. I mean, 834, 834 is a good setup, but then it's just focused on 83s and 4s. And also there is not a lot of expansion on new numbers. Might consider it goes for 6311834, which is fine. But now this basically gives black the option of going for 834, yeah. And now, what do I want to do on this board? Here I am considering something like 9, 10, 11. 9104 is also an option, but then I give up on sheep, which I surely don't want to do here. I can also go for 9102 and then try and get a settlement on 52. I will be giving red the option of going for 5411. So on the other hand, I can go for 5411 myself and that way I'll be able to build on 8.5. I give up 9.10.2 and then the ore port, but I think it's okay. I would rather go for a better sheep and a decent expansion spot on, on the 5.10. So yeah, I'll go for this setup. Red can also consider something like uh, 9, 10, 2, point to the left 
or 3 10 11 point to the right and then get a settlement on 9 10 2 it's both of them are equally fine i would say okay so here because an 11 roll actually green can build two roads and plow me so let's see if i get a trade like this uh, sorry a trade like this or a trade like this i think green will be willing to accept the second one if not do i want to do a two is to one i don't think so i think i'll just go for a dev card Wow, green doesn't build any roads. Uh, I'm not sure why. Let's see if green agrees to this. If not, I don't think I have much choice. I will target green. Green does have a couple of bricks in hand. And I do get one of those bricks, which is pretty good for me. I'll build a road and end my turn. Black plays a knight. I think black blocks the nine weed and most likely targets me. Yeah. I will offer the same trade again to green. Let's see if green agrees to it again or I'll give some time for green to respond. If not, I think here I should be targeting red. Uh, red is in a pretty strong position. But red is already over 7 cards. So I... Uh, is that 8 cards? So here I will target green, hoping to get break. Okay, I don't get it. And a 3 is rolled there. So let's see if I get any trades. Yeah, I'm surprised none of these trades are going through. So yeah, I'll just end my turn and still hope that a 7 rolls. Okay, so exactly. And again, the 9... Yeah, let's see. I mean, green is not responding to chat and that's why green is being targeted here, which is unfortunate because green does not have a very strong setup. Yeah, I mean, if green responds to chat, I don't think so. Green will be targeted as much. And green trades away a brick to red. So red will be able to build a road. A 
okay uh, let's see if i get any trades again i mean surely been a little difficult to make a lot of progress with green not very responsive I mean, if none of these trades go through, I think my only option is to buy a dev card. I get a monopoly, so I'm actually happy with it. Green most likely blocks the nine wheat and steals my sheep, so that is a little unfortunate. Red here buys two death cards, that's quite scary. Yeah, I don't think so. I'll be getting any trade, so I'll just end my turn. Yeah, black might consider targeting red. Yeah. So not much that I can do here. Green surely doesn't want a word. Yeah, the thing is, I mean, green Yeah, I mean, it is quite scary. Black here also has a pretty strong setup. Yeah, not much. I mean, it is true. Green is being targeted, but not a lot that I can say. Yeah, at this point, I mean, my only option is to target red and black here because both of them are in a pretty strong position. Black has the best or the strongest uh, setup. And with the strong port, I think black is also in a very, very strong position.
again i don't want to buy a def card but seems like that is my only choice here i might even offer a one is to two i can't give up wheat let's see if green wants to agree to it if not at this point i'll just buy another def card i'll end my turn yeah surely i mean black already has the largest army here with a strong setup and five resources there Yeah, hopefully, I mean, red maybe does not have a knight, which is also pretty, to be honest, quite scary. I mean, let's see. Yeah. So at this point, what is my option? I mean, this is my only choice and hopefully there's no seven being rolled. Yeah, okay, luckily black isn't plowing me. It was almost gave me a scare. Okay, so. So I would not have mind if the four ore was blocked, but this is fine as well. Yeah, I think the six wheat is going to be targeted now. Yeah, and I don't think so there is anything that I can do. If not, I'll just end my turn again. So now a couple of nines or a 11 and a nine will actually give me a city. Here the eight wheat should be blocked. Yeah. Okay, so now I have a settlement in my hand. I also have a city. And what are the two cards that 
black has here black has a couple of sheep which don't help me but black cannot get a settlement on this turn so i think i'll go for a city for now and um, do i want to play my knight just to try and get a wheat i don't think so i think now might block the five sheep okay blocks the nine yeah that doesn't make a lot of sense i think black is still in a stronger position overall i don't mind if the five wheat is sorry five sheep is blocked i'll immediately play my knight Let's see. let's see if green agrees to it okay if not i'll just end my turn okay so now i have the wheat that i'm looking for and green loses out on a few cards might want to target me here hopefully steals my board and nothing else because anything else and okay yeah gets the sheep exactly the card that uh green was looking for there so now i need a 5 to roll okay exactly the roll that i wanted that's pretty good i'll end my turn here and i i will now focus on trying to get a settlement on the 3 to 1 port it will surely come in handy green has been rolling sevens quite a bit so at this point there is not a lot that i can do i can do a 4 is to 1 or let's see if i can get a trade here not sure if green is interested in a sheep at this point mm what do i do i think i'll just end my turn but do i want green to be targeted here because green will be on seven after building a single road Yeah but I think it's fine for now I'll just end my turn. I know I'm risking a little. Yeah finally getting some break. So actually it was a good move that I did not do a forest to one. Yeah the reason why I'm ending my embargo with black is because I think um Now green is also in a pretty strong position with that uh, with those two settlements Okay so maybe I can play a monopoly on wheat and just get a city Yeah, surely don't want to give up on over here. I'll go for a one is to two for sure.
Hopefully no sevens are rolled. Wouldn't mind another six and a nine. Okay, nine is there. So now a six would be pretty good. Here, do I want to get a, I think I'll buy a couple of dev cards. I get a year of plenty, which is quite nice here. Red might have a road builder and plow me, but I, I'm not sure if I, I mean, I think it's fine. I will still build a road and end my turn. Yeah. So let's see what red does. I think red will have to do a four is to one just to get a break or maybe targets me to get a break. Yeah, gets the break. So we'll be able to get a settlement on this turn. So let's see, I think, wow, red ends their turn. So I think that is just a way for red to lose out on a few cards. Here I still think black is pretty strong, but I will target green. Okay, let's see if I get a trade. I don't think so, I should be getting it. Yeah, I don't, so I'll end my turn. Hoping for a 7 to be rolled. That way at least red loses out on quite a bit. I mean this isn't a bad trade. I will accept it. Anyways I am not fighting for the largest army. Okay trades with green. Yeah, here, although I have cities. Yeah, maybe I don't play my knight here because I want to play my year of plenty and get a settlement. Okay, now that red has gotten a settlement, I think playing a knight makes sense. I'll take a risk, yeah, I think getting this settlement is better for me. And maybe I can actually connect my settlement, uh, set, uh, like get the longest road myself, if I can build three roads.
Mm-hmm. A monopoly on wheat also seems quite juicy. Hopefully a nine is rolled. That way I don't have to play a monopoly. So do I want to play my knight here? Maybe not. Okay, now I will surely play it here. And I will target green, trying to get some wood. I get a sheep. So I can buy a def card. The fact that black did not play any knight there. So that will help me get the largest army for now. Yeah. So at this point, I think I'll just play my knight. And I think targeting red is fine. Red has quite a few cards in hand. And uh, I'll build a road just so that I can get a settlement if I need to. Or do I want to fight for the longest road? I'm not sure. I'll actually hold on to these cards. Actually, I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Steals my break. Okay, that is unfortunate. I get a wheat here, so the best I can do, I mean, I have to play my Monopoly sooner or later, right? But I don't think this is the right time yet. Yeah, I st still think I can, I mean, red takes army on the next turn, most likely. So buying a dev doesn't help me too much. But I still have to, like, I have to try and get a VP. Okay, so all the knights have been picked up. So let's see, if red does not have a knight, I am more than happy to play my knight and secure the largest army. Green could have two VPs here. But in any case, at this point, I still think uh, red needs to be targeted. And with the cards I have in hand, I can build a road or I can just hold on to them. I cannot buy any more dev cards. The thing is, I don't have any VPs. So I think my best move would be to do this, like get a brick and end my turn.
this way I can just get a city and if a three rolls try and connect or maybe a monopoly on this I think I'll go for this trade because now if a monopoly is played I at least get three sheeps for it I think red has a monopoly. Red will play a monopoly on ore which will hurt everyone. Yeah, this still seems to be a good trade for me. I'll accept it. Actually, yeah, why, do, why am I giving black a settlement? Black can take the longest road. This was expected. I think I can do this. Hopefully steals my brick and yeah, not my ore because now I cannot get a city. Yeah, I cannot do anything here. I'll just end my turn. I think green has two VPs here for sure. Or maybe green has a monopoly and a VP. I'm not sure. I mean, okay, so I'm very close to getting a city now. Okay, red had a monopoly there, which was expected. Here I think I'll just like if I'm not able to get a city I think I have to connect and at least secure the longest road. I would need a 3 to roll or maybe an 8 and play a monopoly on wheat. Aha uh -huh, there was an year of plenty that was a mess. But green is now on 9 points. Let's see. Here, I mean, I don't think there is much choice. I have to play a monopoly. And uh, although monopoly on brick is, I think it's the best move here. So at least green cannot win here immediately. And now with the cards I have in hand, I can just end my turn, right?
here i'll just i think i'll hold on to these cards like if somebody is targeting me by rolling a 7 i wouldn't mind giving up on break Yeah, red here wins the game. Just gets the fourth city, and uh, I think green misplayed the game quite a bit. Uh, early on, because red needed to be targeted throughout the game, but nobody was able to target red. Everyone wanted some break. Uh, these tens were huge for red although fives also did roll a bit i think the amount of resource income blocked is for me it's the highest because 9 6 and 10 also four was blocked once and yeah i was robbed the most here so there is not a lot that i could have done maybe if i played a monopoly on wheat uh it could have worked in my favor because then red is not able to build a city yeah not sure how i could have done things differently but it is what it is so i was at rank 80 when this game started and now let's see i start the new year with a loss but then i'm still in the top 100 so it's not all bad hopefully i can win the next few games and get to the top 10 anyway uh, bye for now and see you again in the next video bye bye